There's a story. <clears throat> it used to be times that the Lubavitcher Rebbe would give out dollars. It lasted, I don't I have to look this up. I think like five, six years. How was it? Was it something like that? Seven years? <clears throat> the Rebbe gave out dollars. He would stand every Sunday and he would stand for hours. And he would give, there were two long lines of men. One was men and the other one was women. <clears throat> and one line would go for, let's say, you know, a half an hour and then it would stop. And then the other line would, the, the line of women would come and that would, until it was finished. <clears throat> Sometimes when it would rain outside, so the lines had to wind around inside of the 770 building. Usually the lines would come from outside and the river would stand inside of the building. But sometimes when it was raining, so they had to make all sorts of divert the... Okay, so one time I was standing and oh, so there was one time, uh, once in a while it would happen, but rarely that the Rebbe would change the time. Or the, anyway, the, the time, the appointed time was supposed to be the Rebbe would start at 11 and instead... It was announced the Rebbe's going to come down at 12 or whatever. Mm -hmm. So as a result, there was a big long line of people waiting, doing basically nothing. Waiting. So, they, so they, of course, the men were learning and the women were reading psalms or whatever. They were talking. But the ones that were sort of more affected by any were, were the, the, how do you say, the, um, the, um, the poor people. The poor people, <clears throat> the beggars. Oh. They would go to the line. Now, the Rebbe gave a dollar to everybody. And the idea was that you should give this dollar to charity. You could keep this dollar yourself, but you had to exchange it for another dollar. So there were the beggars that were there. And they would come and ask people for, you know, dollars. Either the dollar that they had or the dollar. <clears throat> another dollar. <clears throat> so I sort of befriended these, these guys. I mean, a lot of people in Chabad, they, they talked to them, but they didn't want to talk too much. Because it would, they would miss receiving dollars. But now there was no line, so people didn't have dollars. But still people are charitable, and they would give, you know, give them give the money. Or the, didn't have to give money only because the Rebbe told them. And anyway, so a lot of these fellows, after they went through the line once or twice, and everybody had already, you know, given to them. So there was one fellow especially that I, I, I talked to. And he told me about his past, and he told me about his this, and he told me that. So I said to him, <clears throat> tell me something. How many uh, years have you been here collecting money from people that, you know, on the Rebbe's line? He said, oh, I've been here for three years already, three years. I never miss a Sunday. Never miss a Sunday. I'm here every Sunday. So I said, so you've been here for three years in a row, every single Sunday. That means over 150 Sundays you've been here. Did you yourself ever stand in line? I said to him, and receive a dollar from the Rebbe? He said, no, no, never, 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 never said a dollar, I said, why? He said, well, if I waited in line for the Rebbe, then I would just get one dollar. And here I'm collecting money from people. I can get, you know, a lot more dollars, you know, a hundred dollars. So I said, yeah, but the, the, the dollar that the Rebbe gives, that's a blessing. That's a blessing dollar to you. There's, I said, a blessing, he said to me, a blessing. He says, you want to know what a blessing is? He said, I just see the Rebbe's face. For me, that's a blessing. I stand here, I see the red. He said, listen, I'm going to say something to you. And then maybe you're going to think this is apicorus. What do you say? Uh, I, idolatry? Not idolatry. Not, apicor, not a good word, idolatry. You think it's uh, <clears throat> apicorus. Apicor, uh, uh, there's a word for Anyway, apostasy. You're going to think that this is an apostasy thing to say. It's against the shame. He said, there's a lot of people in the world that steal and they kill, and they do bad things. He says, you want to know why they do bad things, why people do in the world do bad things? He said, I live in the world. I know what's going on in the world. People do bad. You want to know why people do bad things? <clears throat> I said, why? He said, because they don't see God. If people would see God, then they would never do bad things. Because God loves us, and he creates us, and he helps us, and he blesses us. People would never... And I said, oh, that, that, yeah, I, I think that what you say is right. He said, well, when I see the Rebbe, I see God. When I see the Rebbe, I know God exists. That's, I see God. He said, maybe you're going to think that I'm an apostate. Maybe you're going to think that this. He said, I don't care what you think. He says, when I see the Rebbe, I know that there's God. I know that the world is a good place. That's, so I don't need a dollar for that. So I realized that this man was right. That this man was right. And that's the whole essence. It says that the face Moses was like the face of God. This means Moses' face shined. It shined that everybody knew for sure, without any doubt, 
that there's a creator and that the creator is creating them and that the creator is good and that the creator gave the Torah to tell us what to do and to repay him for this good that he's giving us. Have a good day with Mashiach and I'll see you all at 8.15 tomorrow morning.